developing country like right, Costa Rica. Guys, uh, because I'm gonna do the recap for today. I had a really, really, really bad day. Uh, and uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna do a quick recap. I had a couple of bad days on uh, AHR and Zivo, and it just uh, got really destroyed. And I, it's all my fault. It was all my mistake and my fault. And yeah, I have to pay for it. So, uh, so right now, what I have is I have nothing except some of the TNA that I sold half of it, uh, which is the leverage ETF of TNA. But uh, yeah, so let's go through that. So uh, Zivo was the stock that was gapping up. It's a lower price stock. And uh, uh, I came actually late a little bit uh, to build my watch list. And I knew that I should uh, really be a little bit mindful at the open. Zivo was gapping up for the good news and it popped up. I jumped in early in the first minute. Biggest mistake of my life always. And I added more and then to the dump on me on the, from 690 to 7. And then I added one more time again when it dropped and held the 650 level. And again, it dropped on me and two really, really bad losses. You know, then I wanted to take a, you know, fallen angel trade. It did sell off to this moving average. It held these two, uh, two lows. So I, uh, and I added some long into that. And yeah, I added some long back in there, popped up, sold some, then popped up above the VWAP. I added more 650 and I sold at the VWAP. I wasn't really expecting it to go up to seven came down and then I, you know on the way back up I went long and for a potential break of seven but it's just horrible these uh, lower price stocks they're really manipulated in a way that there are a couple of big players and you know they do this kind of dump you know as soon as the price comes somebody's just send a market order of like two million shares to sell and this is very very common on that especially during the re uh, near, near the round numbers and I mentioned that anytime I promise myself don't trade them but again it's just you know coming up not ready and uh, you know, let's just do that. So that was a really, really bad loss in Zivo. And uh, so essentially how many trades that I did was, uh, so that was a one bad loss. This is another bad loss. And then this was one good trade. And then this one was pretty much break even. So one, two, three, four trade really bad. And it's just uh, destroyed me. And I really should have stopped trading it. I did a couple of good trades on Apple for opening range breakup. I did a nice opening range breakup uh, on Apple. This one was a nice trade that I did uh, from 149.50 uh, pop up. And then it came back up again. And I did another trade on it here. So, you know, just a little bit small profit. And that's, that's the thing that I should have stayed on it. But just kept uh, trading it and, uh, yeah, just lost. And the AEHR popped up. Uh, you know, it wasn't in a watch. It popped up. Someone mentioned that in the chat. And... You know, this squeeze happened. I went long, popped up, sold, and then I really should have stopped trading it. Um, you know, I did a, a couple of shorts on it as well, but really didn't make any money out of shorts. So just break break even on the shorts, like eight dollars or something. But yeah, generally it's just not a not a great trading day for me. And uh, I think AEHR there's a possibility for it to break out, but it's just hard to trade. You can't trade it. They bring this price up and then they dump it. It's just uh, horrible for me. It's one of those days. The Bitcoin price got destroyed because of the release. Again, China is banning uh, in the last, uh, similar to the last 10 years, the China is banning again mining and then dumping. And uh, yeah, really bad day for me. It's just like almost 30 grand loss. Uh, and I deserve it. To be honest with you, I totally deserve it. I should have really ended my jade when I was like a couple of thousand dollars down. So Brian, how was your trade? I hope yours was better than me. <clears throat> well, I, you know, I had some trades where I lost money and I had, I guess the only really good trade that I had that made my day was uh, Sava. Had a really nice opening range breakout on Sava that, uh, yeah, I got a couple bucks out of that. Nike was a bit of a fail. I should have, I, I could have made more, way more money on it, but I just, uh, just seemed I was nervous about it right off because it was uh, NYC stock. But we just did a uh, just did a 920 trade on CCL. If you want to take a look at that. Oh yeah, CCL was a 920 <coughs> trade. You did mention that, but I was. Uh, oh yeah, beauty CCL 920. Yeah. yeah, you did mention the 920 I, trade. I, uh, I, I was yeah. very busy. Yeah, so I'm uh, I'm still in half of the trade right now. Um, just gonna probably take some more off as we get closer to 80 here. Yeah, it was a was a, a little more of a challenging day to trade here yeah, today I, for sure. I definitely <clears throat> messed up and one of the bad days, one of the very very bad days that I had. So, all right. Uh, so if not, guys, thank you so much. Uh, the webinar on the nine twenty is up, 
And I hope that everyone had a really good day. And the week was general. It was really, really good. Thanks to the TNA and really, really beautiful. And uh, I'll see how it goes for a Monday. So um, the Crypto Friday is uh, in a few minutes uh, in the chat room. So Jared's going to talk about why uh, crypto market is uh, uh, going down and uh, what you can do, how you can benefit from it. If not, uh, yeah, see you guys on Monday. We have uh, tons of new webinars for you ne next week. And... Uh, I'll see you all in the chat, guys. Thank you so much.